Thank you to Track Club for sponsoring this video. So this video is going to be a bit different because it's kind of like a video within a video, like a video section kind of thing. I just finished recording a Q&A and I'm actually editing right now. So I thought I'd show you guys a bit of a behind the scenes process into how I actually make my YouTube videos. I always show the behind the scenes of my shoots, but I never showed the behind the scenes of my videos. So I thought I'd switch it up today and just show you how I put my videos together, including like how I edit and also like how I film, what equipment I'm using, stuff like that. As I said, I'm editing right now and I edit all my videos in Final Cut Pro. I've used Adobe in the past, Premiere, but I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. I find it a little bit clunky. Um, and I just think that Final Cut Pro runs a lot faster on my computer but also it's just like easier to deal with. So I'm editing in Final Cut Pro and I actually really, really enjoy editing videos. I find it really just like, I don't know, it's really chilled. Like I get in the zone and I begin to like pull all the pieces together. But before I start editing my videos, I like to establish the tone, like where are we going with this? And I do that through music. Sometimes when you're making videos, like any type of video content, it can be hard to find good high quality music that's actually music that you'd want to like listen to and not like something that's kind of cheesy or that you know that kind of cheesy royalty free type stuff like we don't we don't want that we're past that we're too old for that we need to find good high quality music that makes your video like even better and i'm going to show you how i'm going to do that so the website i'm using to find music is track club and they have an array of really high quality songs so first we need to find a song so i'm going to come into track club here and it loads up like a bunch of the most popular songs. I usually like maybe like a hip hop beat or like a house kind of beat for my videos. I feel like it just keeps it like pacey, keeps it fun, especially when I'm shooting like behind the scenes and I can like cut stuff on the beat and like do some like cool effects and stuff. So I'm gonna come to beats and I'm gonna have a scroll through here and play a few of them and see. Hmm. Hmm, jazzy. Let's try this one. Oh, yes. This is the one. Mm, mm. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one right here. Like, it feels like my vibe. It feels like the kind of vibe I usually go for in my videos. But I can actually go in and customize this even more using this tool called Mixlab. So if I just open up Mixlab, it opens the song up into all these different stems. So you can see we've got drums, we've got bass, we've got trap hats, horns, synths, percussion, there's a sample, there's shakers. It's completely like separated the song into all the different layers. So if I just play it normally, you can hear those horns. I actually want to mute those horns. They're cool, but I kind of want my video to be a bit more chilled and less jazzy. So. Let's mute those horns. I like that. Nice. We've also got like a shaker in the back. I might turn it down a little bit. Nice. So now we just have drums, no bass. Let's bring the bass back. Nice. Let's mute the drums. Oh, way. And we're gonna bring the drums back in, ready? One, two, three, ah. Uh. Hey. So like, I could just play around with this forever and I'm basically just like, I'm just producing. I'm making my own song. Once I found my mix that I like, I can just go ahead and download my mix right here. It's so much fun, it's so creative, and it can really take your video to the next level. So now that I've downloaded my track, I can just drag it straight into Final Cut Pro and then just bring it onto my, onto my video. Adjust the volume a little bit and then hit play. It's Q&A time. I haven't done a Q&A in ages. I think it's been about two years since my last one. So once I've got my music and I've imported all my video files into Final Cut, I just begin to chop it all up and get rid of all my stuttering and like take out all the gaps and that sort of thing and just make it feel like smooth and seamless. But what I want to show you is what it actually looks like behind the camera and how I actually film my videos, what equipment I'm using, what lighting I'm using. So I'm going to get to that. I've been making YouTube videos since I was 12 years old and I'm 25. So it's been 13 years, not 13 years consistently, kind of on and off, like I've come and gone and had different channels and things like that. 
but I've been doing this for a long time. Like we were in the trenches. I didn't always have like this camera and this lighting. Like the first camera that I had to record videos with was literally a dad cam. Like one of those camcorders that you hold like this. And I used to light myself with like desk lamps and stuff. Like we were, we've been through it. But now I feel like we're in a good place. And I thought I'd just show you guys behind the scenes and you can see how I film my videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my phone and then you guys will kind of see like behind the curtain. Here we are. So I'm literally sitting here, I'm in my studio. If you've seen my studio tour video, it's on my channel. It was a few years ago, but not much has really changed. I'm still in the same studio space. I give you guys a full tour on like everything that I've got in here, all my equipment and everything. So make sure you check that out if you want to. It should be in the box up here in the top right corner. Hello. And I'm literally sitting here. I've got my camera in front of me on a tripod. I've got this little coffee table with my laptop, um, but I'll walk you through everything that, we've, that we're using. So camera is my Canon R5. This is the same camera that I use for my photos. Um, so it's amazing quality, shoots in 4K, shoots in um, C-Log3 as well. So it means that I can sort of apply LUTs or color grade my footage a lot easier. I'm using a 24 to 70 lens. Um, this lens is great for video as well. It goes all the way down to f2.8. So it means it's good for getting a little bit of depth of field in my shot. And it works well in like low light situations and all that kind of stuff. And it just gives me the flexibility to be able to zoom in and zoom out. So yeah, that's what we're using. I've just got the camera on the tripod. This is a Manfrotto tripod. I don't know exactly which one. I don't use tripods very often, to be completely honest with you. I just use them to just literally put the camera on something. So I don't have a fancy video tripod that like swivels and tilts and has fluid action and all that. Like, I just don't do that. So it's just a simple kind of photo tripod, I, I believe, but it's pretty sturdy and it's good quality. And then I have my camera plugged into my laptop and I'm just using the EOS utility. This is the Canon software that just comes for free. And it just allows me to see what my shot looks like. And I can also kind of change my camera settings or press record from here. And then we'll move on to lighting. So in terms of lighting, I'm using this big 120 centimeter softbox. And this softbox was actually gifted to me by a company called Jinbei. And they sent me over some lighting and stuff to try out. I have this light on a boom arm, literally placed just like this. So I've got it placed directly overhead, not directly over my head, but more so over the camera and the laptop. I feel like it just gives me this kind of slightly more like cinematic lighting style rather than the light being straight in front of me. It just comes from above and it's kind of feathered off. It feels quite soft. I like the way it looks. In terms of the other lighting in here, you can see we've got this blue background, this blue gel on the background. That is literally another one of these lights over here, just with a reflector. And then in the back, on the left, we've got this little neon light, which is just like an ambient room light. I think I got that from b and ages ago. I don't think they sell it anymore. It's just like a neon yellow tube style light. And then on the left here, just to give like this little kiss of light on the left side of my face, I've got a panel light from Newer. So that's just on like a warm, panel LED light. It's a four light setup is what we're working with. Yeah, I think it works quite well. So in terms of audio, I do not have the best audio setup. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm looking to upgrade my setup very soon. I'm actually not sure whether to go with a wireless lav uh, mic or go for like more of a shotgun style mic like and have it overhead or like down below or something. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or if anyone who works at Rode or like Zoom or whatever is watching this video, help a brother out because I, I need some help with this. But let me show you what we have going on at the moment. So at the moment, I'm using this Rode Video Mic Pro, which is plugged into my camera. This isn't my main audio source. This is actually my backup audio. My main audio source, you can see I'm wearing this like lav mic here, just here. This lav mic is actually plugged into this old relic which is a Zoom H1 audio recorder. It's literally a tiny pocket audio recorder and I just plug the lav mic straight in there and it records my audio separately. And when we get into post, I sync it up. So yeah, I really wanna kind of upgrade this um, and go with something a bit better, but it works for now. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more photography, video, content. If you wanna give Track Club a try, make sure you check out the link in the description to get a one month free trial. And all the other info on the kit that I use will be linked down there as well. That's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.